Hello everybody, um, my name is Race2249 and today is a very sad day for us coaster enthusiasts. Cedar Point, after the Top Thrill Dragster having a terrible incident in, Oct in no, August of 2021 where a metal L bracket flew off a car passing the brake run that was going over the waiting line. The metal L bracket fell off, hit a lady in the head, seriously injured. It closed down that for the rest of that season and then for the rest of the 2022 season. Earlier today, Cedar Point announced that they will be permanently removing Top Thrill Dragster. They are retiring the world's second largest roller coaster, or well, not tallest, and the world's first strata coaster, and just an extremely fast and amazing ride. But the worst thing is, I never got to ride it. Yeah. There's that. And everybody... Like, on every platform, YouTube, everything, just normal news, they were sure it was going to reopen because, I mean, this was just some freak accident, some mechanic not doing his job. This was just a, just a stumbling block. But then today, Cedar Point announced it, and now it's on every major news source anywhere. What they wrote in the blog was um, after, I think it was, what, 19 years of operation or something like that. They're retiring the world's second tallest roller coaster and the world's first strata coaster, Top Thrill Dragster. So, that means it will be removed from the park. That'll be sad. That thing was amazing. Even if I didn't ride it, it was a marvel of engineering. It was amazing. That's depressing. Like, I'm sad. And now that it's gone... We don't know what they're going to do next. And they didn't reveal it in the blog post. But what they did say is that even though it's gone, the Cedar Point team of um, engineers and people that come up with stuff, you know what I mean? Architects, designers, technolog technologists, whatever, scientists. I don't, I don't know what it is. But their team of designers are going to work on something that will still blow away everything with new innovation and everything. They're... Basically, they said they're going to make something even better. I don't know if that's possible. They needed that. Like, people literally went to Cedar Point just for that ride. And now it's gone. It was a centerpiece of the park, man. Like, the two times I've been there, once I was there when it was, a, once I was, there when it was operating, the second time I was there a few months ago, it was not operating. But both times, operating and not, it was a marvel. It was just looking 400 feet into the sky and seeing metal was amazing. The sounds from hydraulic lawn shooting 120 miles an hour, four seconds. That was amazing. It's devastating to me, but what are you going to do? So yeah, I was just going to, I just made this just to let you guys know my thoughts, my opinions. I really hope they put something good in there, like a good ride. Maybe a big roller coaster. Good one. <sighs> Today is a sad day. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to tell you guys that. But it sucks. It really does. But, um, it had to happen someday. This accident was just a way they could do it. And no oh well. Can't do anything about it now. Let's just hope they really do innovate good and bring us something we actually want. <clears throat> Not a wild mouse coaster.